Evening Zimbabwe, you're listening to Studio 7 from the Voice of America on Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. And this is Live Talk Diaspora Forum. I'm Jonga Kandemiri. And I'm Kip Stube in Maryland. Tonight on Live Talk Diaspora Forum, we continue to look at the coronavirus pandemic and what Zimbabweans in the diaspora are doing to help each other. So far, Zimbabwe has recorded 37 uh, cases of uh, COVID-19 with four deaths and 12 uh, people have uh, so far recovered. The world over 4,292,139 people have uh, tested positive with 293,241 deaths. This according to Johns Hopkins. Yeah, to is so as coronavirus is actually causing havoc in the world, Chonga. So like we are saying that over 4 million people have actually been infected so far, and over 292,316 have, have actually died. That is the global kind of perspective. And then in USA, there are more than 1,370,000 and 16 people that have actually been infected and then we've got about 82,389 deaths so which means this disease is really causing a lot of suffering uh, worldwide this according to johns hopkins university and voa and in zimbabwe there are 37 cases 12 recoveries so far and four people have actually died so okay okay Labanto sebe manjo mkuta nilo. Kuzo kuti abai 12. Sebe recovery ile. Kuzo kuswa abane. Kai sebe pupa. So ke kungano kunjalo. Kuta aspora forum la mdanje. Si chao ngote abolo lulu. Silo chonga kona. So nga kubeka mfoid. And this was all. Gives a nasi ini. Ndiriku tepenyula ndiriku mba. Kusilva spring. Mudu nre Maryland. Ndufunga yori. Mama ira matatumana. Kupapa mba pangu. Kukunda ya pasiri. Nyaeda mzikore COVID. Ndishtu ya nchitora sauti kumba kwa kwa. As yeah, yeah. we are forced to stay at home, Triguta Penura Trigu Zimba, a Triguta is a Zukuitwa, never know Zimbabwe, Varukun Zekuenika, never know Zimbabwe, Varumunika, Zakari, Triguta is a Varukuita, Pamsurope, Dambuzukore, a coronavirus, Kanamoti, Covid nineteen. It knows go to another Zimbabwe, Varukun Zekuenika, Varukuta, Shakawanda, Kubatrana, Munguayan, a Matambuziko, a Koitao, Dambuzukore Kuti, Vamwe, Vagazos or Kumisha, Munika, the Rasia and Siana, the Langa Gere. Quarantine, Kuchitiwa no gumi, gumi neva wili kana 12 wa recover kana watu wapona kubwa kuchiruwereji. Tuenda upa sirose wano wanudarika mamiri wa ni maana, ne ma, ne zuru mazana maviri, ne ma kumi mafumba mwene zuviri, more than 4.292 million people wa batu kwa nechiruwereji. Kuchituo wano darika 293,000 kana kuti. Zuru mazana maviri, ne makuma fumba mwe, ne sutatu, zuru izo. E wafa neche uwele chochi, isisiruko vaku Johns Hopkins University. Tishitari so umuno mwa Amerika wano wanadarika milion, wabatu wa neche uwele chocho. Kwa ita wo, wano shika makumi, masere, ne, wa, ne zuiri, tika zuru, makumi, masere, ne zuiri, wafa over 82,000 uh, people have uh, died so far from this. So, that is what we are going to discuss tonight. Those are two kurukura manira and as gives. Uchonga la pake. We are kuluma. We are speaking like we are going to come banjani. Eh, that one is Geneo. So the laban to get S level la pake chonga. Eh, we've got our guests uh, right now, and one of them is uh, Miss Victress Matutu. She is in South Africa, and that is Johannesburg. Miss Matutu, good evening, and welcome to the program. Good evening, Mr. Dube. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We also have a, a Dr. Gilson Mandigo. He is a, an independent a, a doctor. He is in Harare. Good evening and welcome to the program, sir. Good, good evening, uh, Gibbs. How are you? No, we are very fine. How is Harare? Harare 
satisfying, a bit silly. Yes, uh, but uh, I think uh, that's the season, right? You are getting into a very cold season right now, right? So we know that June, yes. uh, June is always uh, problematic. So, so now uh, maybe you can start the ball rolling, Chonga. Yes, uh, maybe I can uh, start by asking Mrs. Matutu in South Africa there because we have seen initiatives being uh, uh, done and uh, organizations uh, being formed to help Zimbabweans facing problems in South Africa there. Uh, Mrs. Matutu, uh, how are things in South Africa with regards to Zimbabweans? We understand that the government is only catering for its own people, not for foreigners. Hello. Uh Yes, go ahead, Matutu. Yes. So, Chonga uh, yeah. actually asked you a question concerning what is happening in South Africa. He's saying that, you know, it seems as if um, the South African government is catering mostly for uh, its citizens and not foreigners in terms of many things. So maybe you can respond to that. Yeah, um, I think it's expected that the South African government will obviously cater for its citizens first. And as it is now, um, that's what we are facing. There's foreigners here. And South Africa has got aid that is for South Africans and um, the Zimbabweans or any foreign nationals are left stranded and struggling and in hunger. Because South Africa, the South African government is not even catering for them in terms of food or some heavy even received their UIA and things like that. So it's obvious that the South African government for now, we can say it's only catering for the local. And yes, of course, the a lot of foreigners are forming organizations or groups that can help the foreign nationals to get food or to get any aid that could help in this situation. So what? what yes, happened. yes. What are what are those? Uh, some of those projects, uh, briefly. Um, things like food packing. Uh huh. And we, a few organizations uh, distributing food parcels to foreign nationals. Mm -hmm. um, some organizations are also trying to help uh, those foreign nationals that have been received their UIH to fill the forms and maybe try and receive those UIFPs or things like that. So, okay, let's talk about what we're going to do with the UIFPs. Yeah. So so <laughs> So, Chonga, all what she's saying is that, uh, you know, the, the South African government is expected that it will cater for its own citizens. Uh, you know, then foreigners have a way of uh, maybe uh, trying to find, you know, to, to, to live in a way that maybe they can coexist uh, with the South Africans and maybe fend for themselves. So she's saying that there are some, some programs that, uh, you know, Zimbabweans have actually started and maybe those programs are going to benefit some of the Zimbabweans. So that's uh, exactly what she's saying. Yes, that's a good uh, initiative for uh, Zimbabwe. You know, brother helping brother, sister helping sister. Mujare, Victress Matutu, South Africa, Vashaura Utaiwa, Zirwitkam South Africa, Zirwitkam and Urumende South Africa. Zirwitkam South Africa, 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 Zirwitkam and those are two good to be Zimbabwe or South Africa. Wanga wachi is a misoro from which it could be Wanga wachi umba omit no batsirana, no batsiravan, you are the Rasiana Siana. I saw me which it gives 
We know that there are many initiatives, uh, people are forming organizations, some are helping individually. So it, all in all is to help a brother. That is very uh, commendable, Mr. Matutu. Yes, uh, thank you, Matutu, and stay on the line. So we also have, uh, like we, as we indicated, uh, Dr. Kilson Mandigo. He is in Arale. Dr. Mandigo, welcome to the program. And tell us, what is going on in Zimbabwe right now? We see that there is an upset in terms of uh, uh, figures, you know, people are, uh, being infected by coronavirus, even if uh, the figures are, look a bit low, but uh, still, you know, 37 is a significant uh, number for a country like Zimbabwe. All right, thank you, Gibbs, for, for the question. Yeah, as you rightfully said, yeah, currently we have 37 cases. Um, and uh, out of those uh, 37 cases, 12 have recovered and we've had four deaths. In as much as uh, they seem as if uh, they're uh, low numbers, mm -hmm. I think um, we really need to take this uh, disease seriously. Mm -hmm. um, currently in Zimbabwe, I think um, the government um, and several partners have been assisting in trying to combat uh, this disease, and we we know that uh, we have been um, under the lockdown for uh, the, the, the first phase was 21 days, and then now we are in the second phase of 14 days. And um, in as much as it's a difficult situation for for especially for those who are not formally employed, I think it's, it's something that was uh, necessary to do. Mm -hmm. Although we see some people are not uh, complying to this directive, but I, I generally I think um, the country is doing quite well to to that uh, effect. Yes, when we look at other, yes, quiet, 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 sir. Yeah, there are also other interventions uh, that were put across. You know, um, people are coming to Zimbabwe are being quarantined. Uh, now, now that the the lockdown has been relaxed a bit, uh, you see that uh, people are also now using uh, face masks uh, wherever they are going. So those are some of the interventions, and uh, we see that um, although we we started by only testing a few when when the pandemic started, mm -hmm. I think we've seen an increase in the number of cases that are uh, being tested and uh, up to date we have uh, over 10,000 that have been tested using the recommended uh, PCR method uh -huh. Uh -huh. and also we see that uh, the private sector is also coming into play so that's uh, really commendable but we really think we need to bring the testing up Yes, Jonga, go ahead mm -hmm. and maybe pose a question to him. Yes. This is very good. Thank you, Dango. Sanangura, Zataura, na Doctor Gilson Mandigo. Varuta Rauti, Wongo, Uandu, Evano, Washika, Pa, Makumata, Tunevano, Mugan of Thirty Seven, Muzimbabwe. Varuto, Ndofunga Chaita, Varuto, Uramba, Uri, Wongo, Akati, Zikire, Pachens, and Sanadu, Menika, Zakako, Mbereza, Zimbabwe, Inya, Uti, Mutemo, Yakaska, Kuis, Kwaiku, Zivira, Kufamba, Famba, Kwevano. We are going to go in Yika, or go on with Kamuzu, but the work changes were Kumazu, Makuma, Nerim, and I have two in the Pachurungo quarantine. What our own year, but our own year, Kuti, one Warkutera, Zuku, Kurzu, Shukufeka, Mamaski, Kamachete, Neku, Geza, Maoko, Ne, Zunura, Utachuana, Kanama sanitizer, but Kuti, Nufunga, the Shimas, Rukubatsira. But maybe I can throw a question to him that. Some of these new cases, Dr. Mandigo, they are from people who do not have any history of uh, visiting other areas, like, uh, for example, the uh, grandma in uh, Mondoro. Uh, there was no talk of uh, visiting any other area, and the same with a guy in Murewa, and I think one in Mashallah in the West. What could be the factor then? Dr. Mandigo, I guess maybe you got the question from Chonga. He's asking whether you know, he's asking about this issue concerning people who get COVID-19 without necessarily going to places where maybe there are some people with the disease. You know, he's saying, how does it go, you know? Like you are just infected 
from nowhere when you are in Murewa, uh, you haven't had any interaction with people suspected to have COVID-19. So can you explain there maybe uh, for us to hear what exactly happens? Yeah, so, so um, unfortunately, uh, for, a, for, for a, um, a person to be diagnosed COVID-19, you, and uh, when you're taking the history, you can only believe what the person tells you. So, you know, the, um, some social desirability aspects uh, that come into play, you know, um, it may be difficult for, for someone to tell, tell the truth that um, a relative uh, from Harare or a relative from UK visited um, uh, last week. So, you can never be sure whether um, uh, that case was never in contact with anyone uh, from other regions. So, um, yeah, we really need to think about that that aspect of uh, people saying what they know is acceptable to the society. Hmm. Uh -huh. So, so then, in terms of uh, you know these such cases, so is it difficult to trace and say maybe? Uh, the patient had some kind of interaction with so and so and so forth. Uh, can you tell us about that? Yes, that's, uh, that's actually the ultimate goal. Uh, whenever um, every patient, every any patient is uh, diagnosed of the disease, mm -hmm. um, you really need to ask them about their conduct so that you can do what you call conduct tracing, uh, whereby you then follow up those people there that they've interacted with, and then you do the necessary screening, you do the necessary testing, so that you can prevent um, transmission of the disease to other to other people. So, and uh, this is what uh, we are actually doing here in Zimbabwe. That mm -hmm. whoever was in contact with. Um, with an individual who, is, who tests positive for the virus is uh, traced and and treated and also isolated from from the rest of the population. But you know, mm -hmm. at times, um, considering uh, that, uh, that uh, pe people really used to interact a lot, especially before the lockdown, the conduct tracing can be a bit uh, difficult, but thanks to the lockdown, it's, it, it makes it a bit easier. I, I think I can even tell you from my head how many people I came across today. So the lockdown really assists in, in conduct tracing. Yes, thank you so much. I think we can go back to uh, Victress Matutu. I guess she's now uh, live and direct. So maybe, Jonga, you can pose a question uh, to Victress Matutu. Yes. Uh, Ms. Matutu, can you hear me? I guess she can hear you because I can see some movements. Yes. Oh, that's good. I wanted to ask her whether she belongs to any organization and what they have done so far. Okay, so hold on the uh, Matutu. So let me bring you on board so that you can actually respond uh, about, you know, Jonga is asking about an organization that you belong to and what you've done so far to help people. So go ahead there. So I think she can hear us, but uh, her audio is a bit muted. So maybe let's go back to uh, to to uh, our guest, uh, Mandigo, and then go back to uh, uh, when we fix the audio. So go ahead, Chunga. Yes, and uh, also I think there's another guest who is still trying to get into the program. That's Mr. Kenneth Mandaza. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mandaza is uh, the, uh, let me see his title here. He is the public relations officer for the newly formed Zimbabweans United for Progress. That's an mm -hmm. organization that was launched in South Africa, and I think uh, it was launched on Monday. And uh, they say they represent Zimbabwe United for Progress, a united response to the ravages and uncertainties mm -hmm. of COVID-19 pandemic being experienced by people in South Africa and Zimbabweans in particular. He is trying to uh, get into the show. I think very soon will, um, he will join us. But yeah. uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Mandigo, Dr. Mandigo, Trukunawa Nwakawanda, Warukuba, Kunzekwe Nika, Wachi, Pinda, Zimbabwe, 
vari kuendeska kunzimbo dze quarantine kwa vari kuchengeterwa muri kugutsika naere ne maitiro ari kuitwa urongwa iwo um asking gibbs we have seen a number of zimbabweans coming from the diaspora and they are being uh, uh, held at uh, different uh, quarantine centers yes. and we have been uh, yes we have been uh, seeing it through uh, the social media that these people most of them will be complaining of uh, squalid conditions and uh, poor communication. That's what I'm asking, Dr. Mandigo. Yes, yeah, so Dr. Mandigo, uh, the gentleman here is asking if uh, there are some challenges that are being faced by Zimbabweans from the diaspora who are actually quarantined. So he believes this is a problem. And people are saying it's a problem, really. 21 days is not a joke. And, you know, the way they are being handled in Zimbabwe. C can you comment on that? Okay, so yeah, we've had uh, complaints from people who are being quarantined, um, especially at uh, various um, quarantine centers here in Arare. Mm -hmm. I know that people who are quarantined um, at uh, Prince Edward and uh, the previous group was at uh, Belvedere Teachers College. So. Mm -hmm. In, in as much as uh, there are challenges, um, I, know, I know that uh, there are some various groups that have been trying to assist. Um, you know, I, I remember seeing pictures of um, a Belvedere um, Teachers College mm -hmm. uh, before uh, there have been any renovations, but um, I've, I've, I've also seen other people We've been helping out, and, and um, uh, I think uh, at the moment uh, those facilities have seen some improvement. And um, I've also seen on various platforms that um, uh, people are now free to 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 get accommodation from other areas, but at their own expenses. So um, those are some of the developments. You know, you know that challenges with uh, availability of water, uh, which is not only for the for the these centers, but also uh, for for us all as Zimbabwe. So, um, uh, rather than just focusing on those uh, centers, I think mm -hmm. it's an initial problem that uh, may need um, attention. Thank you very much, Jonga. I think uh, he has actually responded to your yes. question. So let's, let's try to bring back uh, uh, you know, Miss Matutu. I think uh, her mic has got a, a bit of a problem. Maybe it's because uh, the network is a bit uh, not good where she is. So I think uh, maybe let's try uh, uh, via uh, uh, you know Facebook Messenger. So we are calling her right now, Jonga. We are going to get her in the next few seconds. So let's just be patient a little bit and then try to contact her uh, by calling and hear what she's going to say. So, but it seems as if, uh, yeah, yeah. So I think uh, we are calling her right now and we're trying to get hold of her because her phone was actually giving us a bit of uh, uh, problems. So now let's hear whether she can respond to our call on Facebook Messenger. So there she comes. So, uh, sorry, I think uh, you had a network issue there, Victor Smatutu. So now, Chonga uh, Kandomiri asked a question and said, uh, you know, there are so many organizations in Zimbabwe that, uh, uh, sorry, in South Africa, that are helping a lot of people. So he says, you know, which organization do you belong to and what are you doing for the people of Zimbabwe? Uh, okay, uh, I chair an organization called the Zim Imbo, the NPO. Uh, it caters mostly for women. So we've got members in the, in the organization. It's not like in, it's owned by people. It's just a lot of women that own the, own the organization. So for now, we've been help, helping each other, the members within the organization. But we are expecting something from somewhere next week that will be able to distribute to women uh, from Zimbabwe who are living in South Africa and who are in need of help, especially food parcels. So as for now, we've, we've been just distributing amongst the members of the Zimimbo, the NPO. But as from next week, we'll just go outside the organization and try and help women in need outside the organization. Yeah, I was telling you, 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 I was
okay, I mean, I'm going to say, 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 I'm I'm going to say, i but Busugela and Tambu was on Delizai. So when they saw this was which is the Apanya Mamma Banga Panza went down. Abatim is in prison of the Panja. So Sugar next week sees of Puma and Apa Wunshangan, Nati, I sessing and sessing on Yuana, Umaluna age. So Sugar next two years, I see a Puma, Sizam, which is a Banya Mamma Banga Panza went down. Yea, what are Elvas Sizaman, Abantu, Na, Sabosa, Mosolo? Uh, oh, cool, the case of Bandra would think of a cool. Is it you So, I a Yes, so uh, uh, what Jonga, uh, what she's saying, Jonga, is that uh, you know, the tribe are always to raise money and raise some of these other things that can benefit uh, members of the public, especially Zimbabweans who are in South Africa. So she, she chairs an organization called Zim Imbogoto. Uh, Imbogoto, you know what it means, Jonga? Yes. What is it? Uh, you want to copy me? I don't want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so go now, witness. Can you tell him what is Imbogoto? Tell him, yeah? <laughs> Imbogoto is a rock. Mm. Dombo. <laughs> Something like a stone or a rock. Yeah, uh, Dombo. <laughs> uh -huh. So you know, you know the stone that is used for grinding some you yes, know right. guyo yeah. uh -huh. yes that no can grind uh, corn yes yes yeah, precisely I, yes. I know that gives uh, you know I, I grew up kumusha uh, kuzumba yeah yes when i was born here in the in the murewa it was just murewa yes then, uh, after independence yeah in the murewa not yeah. then uh, mid independence kupakata potachova do via on the ump Yes, yes, I can go mirror Uzumba. Ah, so but still, still there is there is Imbogot. Imbogot, you know, it, it, you know the, the Imbogot we are we are using now. Yeah. I think uh, it was inherited from my grandmother. That's you know, right. That that's what, yes, yeah. yeah. That is yeah. So I think what they are doing, looking at the strength of uh, that Imbogot, which mm -hmm. means their organization is a very strong organization. That's right. Let's turn to now, Doctor Mandigo. So, Dr. Mandigo, we see that cases are going up in Zimbabwe. And there are fears that maybe during the winter season, uh, things may get uh, a little bit, you know, uh, you know, uh, tricky, you know. So, are doctors really going with that kind of theory that maybe the winter season may bring a lot of suffering among Zimbabweans in terms of COVID-19? Yeah, thank you for the question. Unfortunately, uh, one of the challenges uh, that we're seeing is we are learning as we are going. No one can ever be sure what the, the winter season is going to bring to us, but obviously uh, one would expect that with the uh, cooler um, temperatures, uh, those may be favorable for the, for the virus, which may also result in... Uh, increase in cases so um, uh -huh. for the for the west uh, so that uh, we don't have uh, an, an increase in cases and also reduce uh, any possible deaths from the disease so um, it's also a, a very critical point um, in our in the pandemic that, that we are also going to to see this change in the season. So we really wait to see what's going to happen. But obviously, we really need to be prepared for mm -hmm. the West. Mm -hmm. OK, Jonga, maybe you can uh, talk to Mr. Mandico, Dr. Mandiko. Yes, uh, uh, that will be very uh, great, Gibbs. Uh, 
yeah. rataurwa na Miss Matutu uh, Miss Victoria Matutu vati vane sangano ravo rinonzi Imbokodo rinobatsira madzimai e, zita iro riri kubva mu dombo rinoshandiswa muku kuya tinga vachimera zviyo chi zvinokwiwa kumushati no wodya upfu akakwiwa kubva pa matombo iwayo uyo mm. neguyo ndo zitare sangano ravo saka ndaishaura kuti kusimba kwakaita dombo iroro ndo kusimba kwakaita mwe madzimai nekushinga kwavanoita kana munguwa ino ye covid 19 and no akurudzira kuti varamba vakadaro vachibatsira mango madzimai e, ndo dzoka kuna uh, dr mandigo dr mandigo tiri kuona vanhu vakawanda vari kutaura nenyaya mishonga kana zvimwe zvavari kugadzira kumba some concoctions maybe dziri kunwiwa kudzimba kwamwe vatora zvekuti ndazoisa garlic uchi E, lemoni ameno ne nezvimwe zvinge zviri mo imomo kuti vanga vachinwa kuitira senzira yekudzirira kuti vasabatirwa vasabata e, corona virus kana kuti kutembenudza kana vakanga vabatwa nedamudziko yero vamwe vachiti vanozozvinyudza nekunatira mu uh, salt sea salt zvino zvinokurudzirwa here zvo dr mandiko dr mandiko is talking about concoctions he saying people are taking a lot of lots and lots of concoctions mm. and are they working you know and you know there are so many of them so quiet there yeah and i know i, th I think um, this this is explained by the fact that at the moment when we don't have a, a cure for the disease yes attempted to uh, take concoctions um, as a way of either preventing the disease also or also um, uh, curing the disease but uh, uh, people really need to be careful of what um, they are taking because uh, some of the uh, medicines or traditional medicines may result in multiple organ failure we know that some of them they damage uh, your kidneys uh, which can actually result in more problems than what we expect so um, and there's a challenge when you are taking those uh, medicines you don't actually know the actual dose that you are supposed to take so that uh, also poses um, uh, some risks a concussion may 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 alleviate some of the symptoms but if you take a lot of it it may result in, in in some problems so generally people really need to talk to their doctors uh, before taking any any medication and uh, those concussions should not be a substitute for um, any uh, medical advice should not be a substitute uh, for seeking care so yeah those are some of the factors that people need to consider before taking any traditional medicine oh thank you so much i think you can hear him chonga yes oh, yeah. i can hear him sure and that's what i want to dr mandigo and our phones are for the truth of one of the show name of the sport but it's already a good time in the reason why mission guy at all that's wrong with the ball Ininge yakasanganiswa lemon, garlic, tsanga midzi, vamwe vachisa nehuchine zvimwe zvakadaro. Eh koita vamwe ari kuta ine ndiro bvanda zvo zvigeza mumvura inenge ichidziya, isa si salt imomo kana zvimwe zvavari kuita kana kunatira. Saka izvozvo ndo zvana chibvunza Dr Mandigo vari kuti zvinonetsa kuti vatsinire kuti zvinhu zvinosevenza. Asi damudziko riri pondere kuti hauze kuti zvauri kunwa zvakawanda zvakadi zvokwadza zvakadi utano hako. Muno mu Maryland matiri eh, takambonge mazuva apera tichiverenga nezve mumwe anobva ku Africa anogara mudunhu re Prince George's County akambobuda achinza aitaura zvekuti ari kunwa mishonga yavo ari kugadzira kumba iyo akazoshaya sondo rinorapera iyo ndofunga mishonga iyo inenge azowanda bosi takazongwa ichinzi mapapa ake nehura nezvimwe zvakadaro zvakazva zvazokuwadzwa ndofunga nemishonga iyo nekuti inenge isina inonzi pachirungu dosage Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mandigo Gibbs. Yes, we are like a son of a woman, a victress, a matutu, a slope of a ose to handspeak, a kamalake, a pita, a malinga. But the look to some for the Gonamanje, a screw me, whatever the lolu, 
o apita e usebenza chonga usebenza le tanganiso ega bulelani lopo kumalo kumalo soge basebenza le silo we kona ngalege kule South Africa mbona zani sisi la ila pekti mwani e ubaba u apita malinga Baba malinga good evening and welcome to the show Ango, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Tube. Yes, sir. So now uh, uh, we are happy that uh, you have joined us for the second time. And this time we are mixing a, a, a lot of languages. We are using English, Shona, and Debele, and even Zulu. So uh, the first question that I'll pose is in English. And, and the question is, you know, we are told there is an organization that you belong to, uh, which is under uh, Bulelani, Kumalo, and we are raising some funds and uh, trying to get food for stranded Zimbabweans in South Africa. Tell us a bit about this very briefly. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Dube, and I would like to greet all your uh, listeners at home. Um, what we are doing here is uh, King Gudelani Lopengula Ramzililaz has uh, started uh, actually a, a, um, a fundraising to support um uh, his subjects who are all over uh, actually in um basically in uh, south africa and back at home in zimbabwe what is happening here is because of the lockdown many people have actually lost their jobs many people have lost their uh, source of um income See, people are seriously uh, uh hunger is seriously affecting people in their uh, backyards so what the king has done is to try to raise funds uh, so that we can assist those people who are in serious need of um, assistance. So this is the project we are working on right now as we are uh, appealing to the people, uh, our fellow uh, people, to come together with whatever they can do to donate to us this um, uh, fundraising. Yes, Holiwalo. So, I was telling Uti the Kanyan Coca and Cocayo. Queen Eloza, Conagapo, Cola South Africa. Um, the Nissan Babang, you hold away with Trading Ama, Ekamanam Jusishiro, Apito, Amadina, Ekayak, Selipan, and as it was, I as it was in a pants way in Shangan, any Hola, even Trading Ama, or in Shangano, Yom Fusel, Amasiro, Ubukosi, or Limdo Ayeti. What I spend the money is the best. I can spend the money in the long run. I spend the money with farmer, same course. And the long run, I spend the money with the Brazilian lapang. I spend the money with the Gucci Balasiza. I work hard. It's mad. I work hard. I see what I work. 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 I Abantu abane nguye wangu watalega ito kutuwa nga malokdowns Ugutu abantu bangaleleye ezi njini Abantu abasa wazu yi msebe nzini Iga kulu gaze abantu abane nguye wangu watalega yi msebe nzi Abasena wuja ezi njini Iwa inko siya kuona ugutu kusi zingyo kwa selipigi we na tenko sini Ugutu ugutu enga wenzo Nasmondi mwoni ipara ameye izame ugutu kona yake iskwa ama Ewe kuteni ikufinye nelege guna bobantu Aseba tinga kakudu ngoba isi mosibi kakudu China sila e jonas bek e kodi Abantu balambile impela aguko gusha ezi mjini Abantu batonsa nzima abazu tutasa njeliosa Beje ni go inko sizama ugutu kona Ipele esi zwe ni uguti Oku nao esi omgane esi nako Asponsele ni gudu esiskwa ama uguze kusizege Abaswele kakudu Yes, what he's saying is, you know, uh, they're trying by all means to actually help a lot of people under uh, King Bulelandi, So he's saying that uh, they are raising money and trying to help as much as they can, you know, and he's appealing for help, you know, saying there are so many people that are affected by COVID-19, uh, not only in South Africa, but even in Zimbabwe. So they've got uh, this far-reaching kind of... Uh, uh, thing that they are doing and hopefully they are saying that they will get uh, people to help uh, them you know in raising those funds so maybe you can pose a question uh, to yes, him uh, i, I yeah. think i uh, yeah if uh, he's hearing me i'm not sure if he can hear me but if he's not hearing me you can just forward the question to him yeah, yes yes he's hearing you i think yes Man, many people are skeptical of uh, uh just imparting with their money they need mm -hmm. assurance 
how are they convincing people that uh, their funds is going to be i mean their, the funds are going to be uh, to, to be channeled to proper use so uh, i think you had the question uh, 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 mr Malina. go ahead okay thank you very much i did hear your question um although i did not hear who asked the question he's stronger than me yes he's stronger yes than me Thank you very much. Um, I, I'm sorry, I'm not good in all languages, so I might not be able to pronounce your name. But okay, I welcome your question, and I will appreciate it. What we are going to be doing is we'll try to be as transparent as possible. This account was not opened by an individual, but we actually requested some professionals whom I am not at liberty to disclose their names to act open this account on mm -hmm. behalf of the king Bulelani, so that this thing is uh, very transparent there is a group of people behind who are actually um, working with the king to make sure that um all the funds which are going to be contributed is posted it's going to be a very very transparent uh, process we'll also make sure that in, if anybody for that matter might in future from the public to say how much was raised all that money must be transparent this is what you are trying to do because as a people this is not the time to benefit me as an individual but this is the time of me and you actually to get to the needy Jonga? Mm, yes uh, thank you so much i i heard what you said Nanganda Vunza, uh one of the anister or give story He's in, yes. The, yes, he's working with King Pulani, local South Africa. Yes, mm. yes, and Avunza Vamalinga Guti, Sanganorao, Ravaku Trust, Va Novarku, Warkuzo, Kansa say, Gutuanga Vachi, Tora, a kind of take what that time be when Evano, who convinced her, Putuano, who are convinced the Gutano, Dipe Marit, Kubatravan, or Kumushakan, or Kushikam South Africa. Kutuwa shinji, wano kuzibabu wa shinji, panenga paene nya zema ari wanda utanga kuchanga kutuwa kwa marengu yi kazubiwa, ndi kazubiwa, wata za kubatira, sakanda anda wa vunda utu wangu ujekesa. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Malini. Yes, so I think we've got uh, Mr. Kennedy Masie, maybe about PESA. Uh, yes. So maybe you can pose a question, then I'll bring him on board. Kwa ahead, Chonga. Yes, uh, tambire hii, Mr. Mandaza. Mwaruku shansa, stere kuti Kennedy Mandaza kana utuma PESA. Eh, Tiku mm. tambire hii mchurongwa chedu. Uh, Ndo wa nesanga noronoz Zimbabwe and United for Progress. Iwo wa mandaza wa chinzi nduo wa noona neshe kuhuburisi kwa kwa mashoko ku public relations huku. And mm -hmm. uh, yes, I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Kenneth Mandaza. He is the public relations officer for Zimbabwe and United for Progress. That's a South African based uh, group or association of uh, more than 60 uh, people who came together to form that organization to help. Mm -hmm. other citizens who are uh, facing problems due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, I can start by throwing in a question in English so that he can his response can cover all the uh, yeah, languages yes. we are using here. Yeah. Uh, yes. Mr. Mr. Mandaza, maybe you can start by telling us, telling us uh, more about your organization, Zimbabwe is United for Progress. Okay, let me bring him on here so that maybe we can hear what uh, he's all about. Uh, so I think uh, he's around now. Uh, can can you hear me, sir? I think he was in a spot where his network was not good enough. Uh, so, uh, but I could see him and I can still hear some sounds, but he can't hear me. So maybe I think he's got a slight challenge, you know, concerning uh, his network. So we'll try by all means to bring him on board, Jonga. Mapesa uh, to see whether it's workable or not. So it seems as if uh, he's a little bit disconnected from us, Jonga. So I think he still has got a challenge with his network. So we'll try by all means to bring him in one way or the other. Maybe let's proceed to uh, Matutu. Jonga, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, uh, Mr. Matutu. Hello. Yes. Uh, so, with this uh, organization in Bokodo, are you only helping Zimbabweans in South Africa or even those back home? Um, the, the aim is to help uh, Zimbabwe, Zimbabweans both in South Africa and in Zimbabwe. 
as we are all Zimbabweans. Um, but as for now, because the situation is not as good as we will all expect, we will try and start helping here in South Africa, help those who, can, who, who are close here. There is a wish to help also in Zimbabwe, but uh, our, um, our resources are limited. We can't help here and go to Zimbabwe also. As an NPO, we rely on like sponsors to sponsor us so we can donate, things like that. So as for now, our resources are limited. We cannot go to Zimbabwe and help them, but we, our aim is to help everyone, everyone from a woman who is in Zimbabwe, who is in South Africa, for as long as he's in Zimbabwe. So as for now, I can say we will be able to be helping around here in South Africa, but if by any chance mm -hmm. we get a sponsor that can help us with maybe resources to get to women in Zimbabwe, we'll definitely go there. Yes, are you answered, uh, Chonga? Yes, I had a uh, yes, very clear. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, I think I think uh, I will uh, volunteer Gibbs uh, mm -hmm. to be one of uh, of uh, their sponsors. Uh, oh Gibbs. yes, yeah, you have to help there. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can always help. We, we will help. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much, Miss Matutu. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Jonga. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure whether Dr. Uh, Mandigo is still there. Yeah, he's still there. Yes, he's still there. Yes. Uh, Dr. Mandigo, Trikona Vakawanda, Vanum Zimbabwe, Vargo Sumba, Vachin, Vargo Kora, Mitemwe, Lockdown, Vamuarkun Zavasku, Feka, Mamaski, Vamuarku, Zuki, Zakawanda, Tauna, and Wanda, Thirty Thousand, Wakun Zuasunga, Gibbs, if I'm not. Uh, yes, wrong. you're right. Yes, you're yes. right. Uh, what, what can Dr. Mandigo say about that? That's a big number. Iruku Fura, even one or two testwa, put one a COVID area, Fura, and one or two last one in a good for them. So, uh, what Chong is asking you to do uh, is to respond to your question, Mr. Mandigo. On, you know, this arrest uh, is asking you to respond in Shona, you know, on the arrest. 30,000 people arrested for not uh, wearing masks, uh, for not doing certain things, or simply breaking the law in terms of COVID 19. So it's asking you to respond uh, on that. Quiet, Mandigo. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Quiet. Okay. responded to that question, or could he? Am I the right person to respond to that question? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Yeduku, <laughs> Yeah, so Chonga, what what is saying is that uh, you know you can always wear some kind of makeshift mask you know 
some masks that uh, maybe you make it, uh, for yourselves and all those kind of things. So, but he says it's workable, uh, but he's not in a position to talk about the number of arrests. You know. No, that, that that's okay. Because what we only wanted to hear is uh, from uh, uh, a doctor's perspective uh, mm -hmm. what people mm -hmm. should be. Yeah, because the police here. This was posted uh, uh, yesterday. The one I'm reading, but I I can't find the one they posted today with the latest figures. But as of yesterday, there were 26,398 people who have uh, been arrested for mm -hmm. violating the national lockdown regulations, mainly for necessary movements. And the police was urging the public to stay at home, save for those who have been exempted to provide essential services, i.e. medical, mining, and retail sector, ETC. That's why I just wanted to uh -huh. ask that question, uh -huh. because, you know, many people even without a a notice or i mean without a, an exempt letter or without a, an affidavit they just feel like i just want to go into town to do what nothing and then they get arrested yes yes you're right Joe. so let's go to Baba Malinga. yeah what you see we are so about the thing i would in a Okay, um, Sine number always attended. I hear Gabang to Mele Yong in meaning one and Apo on a name is a better old in town be on a saras and Obangi Patanada. Yeah, I told Apo about Abasting Ayo Eb. He led a team by eight sevens and a horse, eight lap of video a pamphlet. Nalapo who video the AC two medals corner in numbers, Rabba Banapana Upo, no in command, as for going for Slapana, even as Tinta Mileson. Eh, so Sanatil can teach the letter about the one in Gangana. We are what is Kama Sierra is Satua Ogungarana and Moba the Swiss Emperor would do Sizarani Abant Abaninga, who the one who mind duty, Kalinga, who Abant Alsabana Shaker of Sabins, Abant Abaninga, who the sources are bonk Abant names and I would have this Kama Sierra Ama donations in our corner, as in the everything over down the sales there and Abant Emu for the Eka is Mapo, just she or Uti Pona M. Always a gala yola by Wooty, Umund or Sebenzala, is cut his name, Ubi a support in a second. My ma ena sakoni na Uti as as one ena la. So we should put Ujam, Akshayana, who care of Umund or Lana, say to a South Africa. So Shire Umund or Seka, Idabo at his beginning, which is commonest, see was Wooty's Umund or La, speed as well as Sis Abata Sebaka, and our sister Wood is a toller do to the Avanta to the Bassis of South Africa or Apande. Yes, Tolu to Swag against Lumu Jamachan Gonabo, just briefly about the people that you are intending to help and what people can do in order to reach you. Just briefly. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. What what we are looking uh, how many people we are uh, expecting uh, expecting to assist. We cannot tell now because we, that will be determined by the amount we are going to raise. Mm -hmm. What we are going to raise is going to determine how many people are, are going. But we are looking at getting so as much as we can so that in a, a big number of people from here in South Africa or who are outside the country where and also to be back at home in Zimbabwe. So mm -hmm. say we are looking at a big number of people depending on the amount we are going to raise. But we are hoping for enough money to assist a, 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 a lot of people. Yes, yeah, so now we can let you go. But before letting you go, maybe Chonga has got a question for you. Uh, Chonga, do you have a question for him? Yes, I uh, just wanted to know in which area and how they can be reached by people. In which areas are they working from or are they, are they uh, operating from? And how can people in Zimbabwe, I mean in South Africa, who are in need of uh, assistance can reach them? I think he can uh, give us his number. Yes, so go ahead, give us your number and all those kind of things. Okay, my number is uh, South African number 078-6232. 806 0786232806 what is going to happen is once we have raised the funds because what we don't want to do is to uh, actually to raise people's expectations while once you've raised enough funds what we are going to be doing is we'll be going to 
community um, institutions like probably churches or other institutions who can assist us to identify the people who are in serious need because as a um, as a group or as an organization we cannot not know we cannot reach to everybody out but once we you have raised that we actually uh, to go to those uh, institutions and ask them there are a number of organizations we work with um with which will also go to them to say please give us a list assist us to identify because you know in a situation like this some people might not be uh, needing more than the others may come forward and those people want to target actually are left behind so we do even the churches if they can assist once we have raised the, the funds we we'll go to many people and actually uh, will advertise that to say it's now the time to actually register the people but we try to get community institutions to help us thank you so much uh, mr abita malinga I spoke there cool, Popeye. So uh, I think uh, Malinga is uh, got to some other commitments. We thank him so much for joining us, Stronger. Yes. Uh, and is Miss Matutu still there? Yes, Miss Matutu is there. So we are about to uh, wind our, our program. Maybe so she can just uh, 30 seconds, how, I mean, and where people can reach her. Oh, maybe more than 30 seconds because we are remaining with seven minutes. Oh, you said you are ripping up. <laughs> okay, she can just tell us how people can reach yeah. their organization, yes. Oh, okay. Well, what I can say now is what we are looking for is sponsorship. That is what we are mostly looking for is for now to get a sponsor that will help us get food parcels to donate to the needy. So the Zimbabwe Mbogo, the NPO, can be found on our Facebook page, I am a woman, I am a woman, I is our Facebook page. Uh, our WhatsApp number is 073-654-0217. 073-654-0217. Uh, you'll get our um, marketing department on that number. And then our Twitter handle is Zim underscore NPO. Zim underscore NPO. Then we've also got a website, www.zimimboroto.co.za. Mm. So we can be reached on those, on all on those contacts. We are very active on Facebook. If someone's got sees find it easy to put on Facebook, then we are very active on Facebook on our Facebook page. I'm a woman in but above all, we are active everywhere in all our contacts. There you can find us. Yeah, I want you to get sent to Sweden to Baltology. Okay, in Shanghai, we have Zoom in Bogoto, Tolagala, who also have been three six five four zero two one seven, who make us in that year Facebook. I am a woman, Niyim Bogoto, Umbegu Twitter, Zim underscore NPO, Umbegu website, www.zimimbogoto.co.ca. Yes, so thank you so much, uh, Chonga. Over to you, sir. Maybe uh, to the doctor now. Yes, uh, Dr. Mandigo, Mashokwenyu, Amunga, Sira, Wanawe, Zimbabwe, Paneno, Nguwa, Makatire, Yine, Shona, Modi, Mbura, Deni, Mosongo, Itashungo, 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 so your last word, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Mandigo, uh, in Shona and English. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Not in the Kundi is a Pachirum Gachino. A Rambo Kruk Zira, a Rushing Rue Zimbabwe, a Wene Urmende Zimbabwe Kuti, Sesota Pinda Muinda Kudai. I mafuru acha wanda. Zinoda kuti zinoda kuti mnuwezi ane flu e achinga ziu kuti iflu kana tiki covid. Nuko dara acha ngai shwa na utestwa. Sasa zinoda reva kuti tunofanya ngi tine kuktesta kwa kawanda bitra kuti tisa raskiru ma cases covid nineteen. So what I'm simply saying is uh, as we are approaching. Mm -hmm. Uh, the winter season, uh, I really advocate for uh, availability of more uh, test kits because, you know, uh, people presenting with um, a common cold, 
can also be mistaken for for COVID-19. So for us to really be sure that this uh, flu, but not COVID, we really need to uh, up our game in as, in as far as uh, testing is concerned. So Thank you. this really calls for all effort to work together. To thank, thank, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much to Dr. Gilson Mandigo. He was one of our guests uh, today. He's an independent doctor based in Zimbabwe. We also wish to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Apita Malinga, who works with the uh, IHAO. He has got an organization that works with the uh, King Burelani Lopengula Kumalo. And then uh, Miss Victress Matutu of Zim in Bogoto. Thank you so much. And please note that this is a pre recorded show. Jonga, this is Skip Stube in Maryland. Bye bye. Neni Jonga Kandemiri, Drum Silver Spring, Zakar, Maryland, Dotimora Zaganaka. Thank you and good evening. Please make sure you stay safe from the coronavirus. Thank you so much, all, for joining us today. So, bye bye, Dr. Bye bye, Victor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.